Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today we are going to just go over drawing a very simple hand, almost like a cartoon looking hand. Um, but I know some of you have asked for help with this. And so I'm going to show you, I recorded one of these a while ago and it was really, um, my camera was like hanging from the ceiling and so probably made people dizzy. So I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> so it's really, really easy. So draw with me, just grab a paper and something to draw with. I am just really liking these washable markers. Um, this week because I can kind of paint them and make shadows. So if you want to use Crayola markers or some kind of water-based marker and a small paintbrush and water, you can. But And I'm just using normal printer paper. So, and remember, really easy. This is not a realistic hand, as you could tell from the thumbnail. But what you're going to do is you're going to draw a box. And the box is going to be maybe more of a rectangle, so just maybe a little bit longer. Then you're going to draw a rainbow over the top. You're going to divide that rainbow into four by putting a line in the middle, right? Like, and then divide each section into two. All right. And then we're going to figure out, I don't know which side the thumb's going to be on. You're going to draw a triangle that's attached to the side of the box, a line that's coming straight up out of it, and then a line that curves back in. Okay. And then I'm just going to I'm going to bring it all the way over the front. And now we're going to make this into a hand. So let's kind of round it. And then your fingers would be in here. And this actually in real life is uh, curved a little. It actually is like this. And your, my pinky is seriously, look how much smaller. Is that normal? I don't know. <laughs> we can draw some of the knuckles in if you want. There's like two. And that's basically it. So <laughs> very, very simple today. Uh, but you can kind of look at your hand and figure out, you know, these different heights. And then you can also add um, some, just some different details. Maybe you could even add a little bit of a fingernail. <laughs> they always look kind of crazy in drawings. Okay, and that thumb looks pretty big and pretty sharp. Kind of scary, that's okay. You can paint it in now if you want. And um, what I like to do actually when I start to draw the figure and you can kind of look to at these lines that happen. Everybody's are a little bit different. Um, I like to draw my hand now, like looking at it in different ways and using more like contour line or gesture drawings. We are going to be doing some gesture figure drawings, just not quite yet. Cause I just, I need to find some images that I can share with you. So I feel like it would be really helpful for you to see the images that I'm drawing and we could maybe draw some together before you draw your own. So that's really, really simple. All right. And that's it really for the simple hand. So <laughs> you can paint it in if you want. Um, now what I would do instead of drawing a hand like this is to look at some hands doing different things and draw them. You know, I don't know what hands can do crazy things. <laughs> But what I would do is go and draw 10 hands, really looking at them. And that will be helpful for later drawing the figure. And even if you're trying to do illustration instead of something realistic, this is helpful. So thank you so much. Sorry, that, not sorry, but that was a short one. But this is a really easy, simple technique. And I thought I would just share it with you. And have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow for drawing the foot.